Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm gonna get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everybody who's been following me on this journey. Welcome back and welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time. And thank you so much. I started this as my New Year's resolution in 2019, stating out loud that I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt followed by a weekly video and in 2020 was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself and others and this year was to break up with processed sugar and as I've been sharing with all of you guys the processed sugar and me uh, our breakup has been not so smooth it's been rocky and i am now off of sugar today is day 11 and i want to share with you guys my chin is still broken out like two to three weeks later tons of makeup on myself covering it and also um yesterday i could not get out of bed like i couldn't do it not I wouldn't, I couldn't. And on Tuesday, my most favorite thing that I do, that I love, that doesn't feel like exercise, that's fun, that brings me joy, is line dancing. And I get to do that at the YMCA, and I'm so grateful that, that I get to do things that I love during the day. And I went on Tuesday and I, it took everything I had just to be there. So I started to feel like this depression come on and I feel it like in my eyes and under my eyes, I feel this depression. And I feel like, cause I feel it that everybody can see it. I get this heaviness and um, you know, I was able to go to my class and I was able to get through, but I just, I felt this intense sadness and then yesterday was Wednesday and when I tell you I couldn't even get a shower like it was so hard and you know I grew up in a house where you know you're lazy you're lazy and you don't want to be lazy I never wanted to be lazy and I think I associated laziness um laziness was depression and you know get you know what you do when you're lazy, you freaking get moving and you keep moving. So I think I've had depression my whole life. And what I have done is just pretend like I didn't, but I can't like hide this stuff anymore. I don't know if it's because of the, the no sugar again, going through that. I don't know if it's just depression because I have it. I do take CBD oil every day, twice a day, the stuff called Canacurmin, and uh, it's by North American Herb and Spice, and that really helps too, but I've never had a day where like I couldn't do anything except stay in bed, and today is December 23rd. 2021 you know we have been living in this pandemic for over two years we have already like we were already traumatized before the pandemic most people don't know that and this pandemic re-traumatized already traumatized people so um 
I feel energy. I feel everybody else's energy. I feel my own. I can now return it back to the people that are trying to displace their energy onto others, which is what I used to do too. So I get it. I did it. I'm learning how not to do that, that other people aren't responsible for making me happy. Other people aren't responsible for fixing me, that the only person that can help me with this is myself and God. And you can't buy what I have. I have had to work my butt off to have an emotional, a mental, a physical, and a spiritual connection to myself. And I've been working on it. It's going to be 32 years on Sunday. So I've been working on this for almost 32 years. And I watch everybody. And last year was the first year that I could not buy gifts. Like I couldn't. I had no money. I was in the car accident the year before. And I was not able to. I, it was the first time in my life I could not suck it up anymore. I couldn't suck up my job. I was so injured. I can't suck up doing things that aren't right for me anymore. I physically cannot do it. I am so, excuse me, so emotionally connected to myself. I, I can't do it. I can't fake things are good when they're not. I can't pretend like things are okay. I just, I cannot do it. God won't let me do that anymore. And is it hard? Absolutely. So last year, my son, Angelo, who is the love of my life, and honestly, like how I was taught to express love, I really wasn't taught how to express love. So I expressed love through buying people things. Let me show you with an object how I feel because I can't tell you and I can't show you. Um, it wasn't enough. And last year, I could not buy gifts. I couldn't. I had zilcho money. So what I was able to do is I wrote a guided meditation. I'm a writer. And this guided meditation that I wrote, I started playing it for other people too, and they were seeing their deceased relatives. So people were having healing from this meditation that I wrote that I never felt like, like it was a gift. But um, giving the gift of myself and what I can do is more of a gift than, than you can buy, which I didn't know. I didn't know I am the gift and you can't, you can't buy me. I can't be bought. And a lot of people are still trying to buy the right thing, give the right gift to show people how they feel instead of actually being able to show it with your heart. So um, I so get it. I've done it. And it's so much easier to go buy shit. It seems like it's easier, right? Except for it's never enough. It is never enough your job, what you make, what you buy, what you give, what you have, it just, it doesn't exist out there. And people keep searching outside of themselves to buy it, to show other people that they're doing good. Instead of me telling you, I could not get out of bed yesterday. I couldn't do it. And today, I could. And the reason why I was able to get out of bed today, I prayed last night and a girlfriend of mine sent me a message and she's like, Michelle, can you please come meet me? Can you come to this meeting? And I said, no, I can't. I'm going to color my hair, you know, because I don't want to have gray hair for Christmas. And I got all my stuff out to do my hair. And guess what? I didn't have the right stuff. So I went to meet my friend in a meeting. And just like that, it changed my whole entire day. So I can't even tell you, I'm here with gray hair. You can see my roots. I don't care. 
I am just trying to be the best version of myself and to give you guys my heart. That's the greatest gift you will ever get from me. And not everybody is able to receive that. And I'm okay with that now. I know it's not a personal rejection against me, but it didn't mean that it didn't feel that way. So I know when other people reject me or reject what it thinks I'm offering is really they're rejecting themselves and not me. So I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. This is a really hard time of year. They sing songs. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It is not. So one other thing I'm going to let you guys know that was so huge for me. If you are going around people that you can't be yourself around, which a lot of times that is family, um, have an escape plan. Drive separate. Have somebody call you. Um, have a reason to leave. You can only stay for a little bit. These are all tools and tricks that I have learned how to be well and take care of myself and not put myself into places where I don't feel good anymore. Maybe I can go for a little bit, but I don't have to stay as long. Maybe I'll just come for dessert instead of dinner. Maybe I'll just stop by for a few and drop off some gifts. These are all ways that you can show up and not, not have to abandon yourself. And that's what I've learned how to do is not to abandon myself. But I first had to learn how to rescue myself first. So thanks for everyone who's watching. Take care, stay safe, and stay tuned. And I'll see you all next week.